Hi everyone, I'm in my studio here. Um, welcome to Ethan Taylor Designs. I am Ellen, for those of you who don't know me. And I just want to talk about not giving up on a piece. Um, yeah, I, I struggled with this ring and I don't know why. Maybe it's just because. So I'll just show you the ring here. So I'm making this spinner ring with a gold band and a gemstone. So I wanted to have a repeat pattern. So I had to measure the ring and do one side or cut it in half, do one side and then do the other side. So the two sides here match up. And so that went okay, except it's a little, the opening is a little bit wider than what I had wanted, but it's still fine. Then I had to solder on the little balls to hold the gemstone. And I did that. I made the bezel and everything is going okay so far. Then I soldered my bezel on and well, I put my, my sorry, I put my gold ring band on and then I put my uh, stone in and I realized that my stone was too deep. And when I put it on my finger, the tip of the stone scratched my finger. So I thought, oh, okay, well, I'll put a ring on the bottom, just a, a sterling silver ring, jump ring. So I soldered that on there, worked hot damn, it was awesome. So then I go to try it on, and now it's almost a size smaller, and this is a custom ring, a size smaller than I wanted. And that's because when I soldered on the little jump ring on the bottom of the bezel, it made it deeper. So then I'm thinking, oh crap, I might as well just turf it and start all over again. And then I thought, no, that's not the right attitude to have. I am trying to get into doing more custom work. So I looked at it and I thought, what, what can I do? And I hadn't set the stone yet. So what I did is I just sawed the bezel off with two balls and I raised the bezel up. So ta-da! Now it's the right size again. Yay, a win-win. So then I come out this morning and I'm filing down the top of the bezel because I don't want a whole bunch of silver around the stone. Well, I file it too short. <laughs> so I get a ball burr, or sorry, a heart burr, and I go in and I lower the seat for the stone. Not the stone, I do it on the bezel itself. I lower that because this is a step bezel and I lower that. Then I think, yay, I did it. And I'm setting the stone and it still wasn't quite enough. So then I took the stone back out after opening up the bezel again and lowered the bezel, the um, seat again, put the stone in and I'm setting it and the stone breaks. And, but I'm also thinking it was still wasn't quite low enough. I could actually see part of the the girdle of the stone so that's that's not good so anyway the stone broke um, maybe it's a blessing it probably was <laughs> and then I thought okay well I have more stones and I believe one of them is a little smaller so yay I finally got the stone it still needs to be polished uh, a little bit of cleanup around the bezel um, and I did when I was soldering on the little balls I did get some solder run onto the texture which isn't good. So what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to say is don't give up. Yeah, just if you have to walk away, go. Oh, if you have to walk away for a couple minutes, a couple hours, a couple days, don't give up. Come back and um, have a fre with fresh eyes and have a look at it. And if it's, sure, sometimes I just melt things and there's nothing I can do about it except for throw it in to my scrap pile. And my scrap pile isn't a waste either. I take those and I melt them down and make more wire or more sheet. So for you guys out there just beginning, just know that it's not just you. It's I've been doing this for about 12 years full time and I'm still making mistakes. I still get frustrated, but I come back and I revisit it. So there's my little tip for today. I hope you guys have a great day 
and uh, go create something beautiful. I love you guys. Bye.